What's going on, Kingsman? I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had an amazing week. I hope it's about to get better. So today we have a 4v4 Napoleon Total War 3 replay sent in by War Spite. And guys, this looks... I'm just going to put some regular play. This looks awesome. So we have a Spanish-French force kind of almost at each other's throat already. And then you have reinforcements way up here in the mini-map and, of course, way back here. Don't really get to see... Um, the other side yet, but we have uh, Wiltenberg, Bavaria, I believe, and another French army who are going to be marching to the relief of this one French army. Um, you guys let me know if you want me to go through the army comps, otherwise I'm not going to go through them that much, because, yeah, I I would butcher the names anyway. You guys know that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Let's just, let's just, I'm going to stick over here. So it looks like we have another Spanish army, Denmark, and Austria, I believe. No. Uh, I'll wait for them to get closer. But, guys, look how close they are starting off. So, Spain, I believe, carries some guerrilla forces, or they usually will. So, um, the French are going to have to watch out for that. But it looks like Spain and France are going for a clash almost immediately. However, France is going for this four-point building. Has some uh, cav kind of... Uh, running some interference. Oh, going for a cap charge. We have the first engagement of the battle already. Oh, no. Who's going to win this? Not. Oh, oh. Usually, French cap are better. But in this one, the Spanish are going to take it. And now, these infantry are exposed to a cap charge. May have to reform up or send more cav. This is a problem for them. But they're going straight for these buildings over here, guys. And that's, that's four points if they hold this. I mean... Yeah, I think uh, Spain is wisely going to uh, fall back. They can't take on all these. And what, like, great initiative on the French players' part. I mean, they just went straight for this building. If they can hold off right here until the reinforcements cover this flank, they're going to be off beautifully. Because the rest of the reinforcements are really far away. Actually, I think these kite, the French reinforcements are way closer. Oh, here goes another charge. Hitting them as they're going in column formation. And beautiful charge! Hitting him in the flank. I believe hitting the Grenadiers, but I don't think it's going to work. As they're going to get out of there, but they probably are going to break. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so they did a charge. They stopped him, making the French have to now reform their lines. Um, they're probably going to garrison this building, get the four points. But here they go once again. They just won't leave these French alone. But I don't think it's going to work very well. These guys are in a very thick, with like six C's formation. <laughs> and now they're probably going to get a volley off. Yep. And they are formed up around the city. And um, I do believe artillery is firing. Yeah. So the French have an artillery piece with stakes deployed to keep the uh, excellent position. X oh, yeah. So they took that building. This is an excellent position for France. Look at this. They have the whole... Branch. Uh, I can't talk. I'm sorry. It's the dyslexia talking. Uh, so this whole Spanish army is just being annihilated. And, oh, this is a massive, massive uh, defeat on the part of Spain. They lost a cannon. That is unfortunate. Because now the French can sit back and shell them, and it will force them to either have to attack or fall back. Now the Spanish do have another building. I do believe the rules of NTW3 is you can't destroy... The point buildings. Uh oh. Oh! France. Okay, so Spain is going to try to protect their cannon because the French were going to go for it. I don't think they're going to make it in time as these cab are going to intercept them. And this may be a loss for the French as they are going to get attacked in the rear as well, unfortunately. That was excellent saving by the, uh, by the Spanish. They were able to save their guns, but both their cab run. They probably will come back, though. Now the artillery on each side, so France has dominant artillery on the right flank, Spanish left flank, and on the Spanish right flank, Spanish uh, the French left flank. Artillery is kind of dueling it out on one side or the other. So Bavaria is uh, coming up pretty quickly here, bringing up some calves, some horse artillery, which is going to help them have a very, very competitive edge. Um, Denmark, I'm assuming, is kind of close behind, along with Spain. I don't know what that country is, guys. I've never seen it before. <laughs> you guys can uh, scold me slash educate me in the comments. All right, so Bavaria is hitting this road. 
Um, they have this four point building, which is really good. That's going to give them eight points so far. And they're just kind of rolling out this way. They're probably going to defend the right flank as more Spanish troops are going to be uh, coming up this flank. Cav trying to sneak around the center as, ooh, I love this. Massive push by the French. Look at this. Just pushing forward with tons of infantry. I love it. Aggressive play. Not even waiting for allies. They know they have the initiative right now. Oh, they better watch out because actually there's another front Spanish faction. So they have to be very careful what they do here. This artillery is going to wreck them, though. They, they need to try to figure that out because that could turn the whole line battle. I mean, if you look here, it's punching holes in their line. As this line battle has been joined, it's so epic. I love the sound effects for this. Who's going to get off the first shot? I don't think they're close enough yet. They're just kind of staring each other down. Oh, this, this artillery. Look at this. They need to do something about that. That is slaughtering them. Okay, so... Oh, I missed that. Let me turn the map pack on. Okay, so as you can see, the line is kind of joining up. French are pushing on the left flank, form the square, because of all of this cav coming up. That's very wise. They better watch out, because that's a ton of Spanish cav. Over here, Bavaria is pushing up on uh, Span Spain's right flank with a bunch of cav. They took this building. I think they're taking, going back out of it. Um, Battle's been joined here, and look out. Here comes Spain with a, yet another cav charge. These guys better form square, because this is a problem. They're going directly in the back lines. Beautiful play by the Spanish. Look at this. Charge these guys. They probably can't form square, and yet they're going for the lights and this light infantry. Oh, this is a beautiful play. Look at this. As they're forming square to try to defend the lines, and they break up. That was almost a disaster for the French army. Now there's Cav crawling in the back lines of France. They pushed up too far, and their back line is exposed. Cav going in for another charge. As these guys cannot form square, they're probably going to rout them this time. Oh, they, they, they can form square. Okay. okay. So, an excellent play on their point, of their perspective. So, France definitely chose well for their flank as now they're sending tons of cap and now look at these armies coming up together the Spanish have an advantage here they have more infantry that can push on the flank and there's not a whole lot of reinforcements yet being brought up they should push forward they can turn this left flank now granted they may not know what's right over here yet and if they don't know you know maybe they don't want to push up and expose their flank but as of right now Okay, with this artillery, I think they're probably having a massive advantage, but watch out. I see the cav. They need to take care of this. Uh-oh. They are not seeing it, and they are going to hit this ca cannon. Beautiful, beautiful job by Spain. No, gosh. <laughs> by France. And the ca counter charge is a little too late, as now Spain has lost their cannon in the front lines that could have turned this line battle. Denmark setting up more cav, but it's too late. But hey, they can counter charge, which looks like they are doing. They have a ton of cav in this center. Push forward. Make France force their cav to stay in this area to cover this gap, which is, I might say, a massive gap. And look at all this cav over here. My goodness. There, there, there's something's going to happen here. I know it. And uh, France needs to send up a lot more cav to kind of mirror this cav, because that's a problem. Okay, so now the cav has kind of called it. This can be now a line battle. Uh, Spain has some holes in their line they need to fill. They need to regroup, maybe. Um, this whole flank is being turned. Not a whole lot happening over here, guys. Wuttenberg, Bavaria, another French army is kind of just forming up over here. And nothing really happening over here. It's just right flank. And this is good for the French uh, forces because they definitely have the advantage here. I mean, is Spain even firing? I mean, are they even firing? <laughs> I don't think they're even firing. Okay, now they're firing. So they had to reform up. Alright, so now they've taken yet another building, I believe. So one building here. Where where is this the building they took? Okay, way over there and way over here. And I believe there's one. I don't know where it is. 
But they definitely have the point advantage right now. Oh, more calves that came charging in and counter charge. Here goes more calves. And they are just caving this right flank of Spain. This is bad, guys. I mean, okay, here's more French forces pushing up. They need to fix this right flank. Um, they need to fall back, maybe reform their lines. If uh, Denmark has some troops right here, maybe if they reform, Spain will. Spain can reform here, and France may push forward and get flanked in their turn. Nothing is still happening, guys. Just this line battle, which is awesome. I mean, look at that. It's just... Could you imagine being in this? Standing in lines, just firing volleys. I think about today how everybody just dives, takes cover, and, you know, of course, weapons are different than muskets and rifles, but... I'm not a big fan of France, guys, so I'm not, I'm the... I'm going to say that now. Um, I'm definitely more of a coalition guy. But France definitely had the better forces, I think, in Napoleon Total War. <laughs> they definitely had the more organized army. I mean, they took on several countries at once. All right, so this is well played by the uh, Spanish. They're skirmishing them down. They have a bunch of lights forcing the French to fall back on this flank. And they have a bunch of cav, which can cover. To watch out, though, because... France has shown some excellent tactics in rushing cab forward and hitting cannon and light infantry. So they need to be careful on both sides. Bavaria want to get in this action. So far, it's really just been France. France now sending up some more lights so they can start skirmishing this line. Artillery is still shredding this front, sh this, this front line of Spain. Just look at that. Just punching holes in these thick columns. Uh, Bavaria has some artillery. They, someone needs to do something. Oh, Wittenberg is pushing on the flank. This could be a big game changer if they manage to pull that off. Um, but in the meantime, I like this. They're using the Grove. I think, I don't know if that hides their forces or not. I think if they're seen, that means that they can see them. So that's not, but this is a flank that France does not have a good grasp on. They don't have much here. And they don't have much reinforcements. They have some cav, but no infantry. As uh, Bavaria and the other French army are still tro showing up. It's taking a little while to get up there. This one French army is taking on the brunt of the enemy attacking force. So now these uh, skirmishers can... They're getting shot from this house. With excellent position by this these French grenadiers. But they're going to start skirmishing down this French army. <laughs> look at this guy. He's like, I fear nothing. I'm going to turn my back to the enemy. I don't even need to look at them. Just like just like a 180 and shoots them. 360 no scope. <laughs> ah, yeah. And they're going to start skirmishing down this French army. They probably are going to, yep, they're going to push back a little bit. Their cab is ready. Their cab is poised, but so is the Spanish cab. They are like, you are you may have taken artillery, but fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. I think that's how it goes. Alright, so we have some possible cav play. Some cav kind of, you know, trying to feel out what is going to happen if they advance. This Wutenberg army, I love this play. They're, they're going for the, the long run. Oh, but look what they found. Look what they found. They found Denmark. And Denmark's like, what? What? Excuse me? Excuse me. So, Denmark is set up in this grove of trees. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm being a little bit getting too into it. Um, <laughs> so it looks like uh, France is pushing forward with some calf from Denmark who is going to... Are they going to go for calf charts? Yes, they are, but France was ready. Cat, France was ready, but they are going for the cannon. Oh, no. They didn't catch him in time. This is going to route this French cannon. That is so unfortunate. Mate, yeah. That is uh, very unfortunate. They weren't able to break them in time. As now, uh, let's see over here. France still pushing up. I like it. They're kind of doing the same thing Wittenberg is doing, pushing up. And uh, Spain is taking an initiative now. They're pushing up. They have some lights on the flank. They should get some line infantry to kind of back this up. You know, someone to form square just in case France decides they're going to charge out with their cav. But this line battle has kind of been constantly going on and off. Bavaria now setting up. Now, look at this. This is kind of like a corner where if you get 
I almost tried using my hand on the screen to show. If they get a line right here and a line right here, they will be firing on a very, very small line that's kind of on a crook, which they will have the superior firepower here, which could work very well. If they can break Denmark, they're turning this whole flank. I like it. This line battle is just still underway. Look at that. Nope. Okay. France is like, yeah, no. Come at us, bro. We're, we, we, we don't need to do anything. We can make you come to us. We have the advantage. Oh, more Cav coming out. We're trying to go for Bavaria. And oh, no. Oh, no. They are going for them again. This is a good play on uh, Denmark. Denmark and Spain have been doing an excellent job. Actually, both sides are doing an excellent job of hitting the cannon. This cannon is a lot further back, and this is a howitzer. I don't think they're going to get to this howitzer. It's sitting way back in the lines. All right, this line battle has started. France has fallen back. They're using the building to kind of protect their flank. Spain, I love this. They are pushing with a massive amount of troops. They're like, yeah, um, we don't need... We don't need a lot of troops in order to take this <laughs> this front line battle. We can just use them all and throw them into a flank. And that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, someone needs to help France out. Okay, good. So someone is sending some troops over. It looks like France is sending over some troops. Look at these guys. Look at that. Hear that drum? That drum beat? They're like, watch us. Okay, so... Things are still not decisive one way or the other. Uh, the blind battle's kind of formed up here. I love how in Napoleon Total War 3 you can zoom so far out and still hear everything. I love it. All right, so two units of France. I think these are lights in these uh, line infantry. No, I think they're both lights. They are trying to hold this flank against two, three, three units. So it's pretty fair battle, but over here, is this a general? Okay, I think he's in the building. Yeah, I think their general actually fell into the building, or fell back to the building, which is wise. Now, if Spain is, could charge this building, they could kill the general, and that would be a massive morale uh, boost in their favor, killing the French general. So Denmark is definitely dealing with his Wittenberg army. However, um... Denmark is going to be trying to fight off a Bavarian and Wittenberg army. Look at this. Bavaria is like, yeah, no, we will leave uh, the two French armies to fight them, and we will take on Denmark ourselves. However, where is... I wish I knew what this was. Somebody educate me, please, because I don't know what faction this is. I don't know. They look like they're a German faction. Okay, so Wittenberg must know that this, this faction right here this, it looks like an Austrian, it reminds me of Austria, or like Saxony, but they, they probably are creeping around here to help support Denmark, so they would better be a little, little careful. Oh, so Spain did do it, I'm sorry guys, Spain is rushing in, and I love this, about going to War III, go inside the buildings, they are pushing in, and there is the French general, just standing, he's like, yeah, uh, defend me, your leader, defend me please. Oh, I think they caused Spain to break. Yep, they broke them. They, look at this. This unit is just sitting here just pouring into them. They're like, yeah, no, you're not taking our general. Dead or alive, he stayed with us. And, uh, whoa! France did a cab charge in the back lines. Oh, no. They almost hit this general. Looks like uh, Spain was able to possibly counterattack. They're going to take care of this French cav, but watch out. Okay, so... Uh-oh. <laughs> I missed this. This is why I need the mini-map. Come on, Kingston. So, there is a bunch of French cavs sitting back here. That's a problem. And, uh... Nope. So, they dealt with them. They saved their cannon, one of them. These guys may come back, though. They're broken. They may come back. More cav charging in. Look at this. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Whose general died? Wait. Whose general died? Oh no, it's a French or Bavarian general, I think. 
But here's more calf. No time to waste. Talking about whose general died. Look at this. Bavaria sending in calf. Spain sending in calf. Bavaria is not looking the greatest here. But look at this massive calf fight right outside this area. It is beautiful. Massive clash. Both sides are wavering, but I think Spain has more cav to throw in. Over here, even more cav rushing it, and look at the... Just the... Oh my goodness, the carnage. The confusion as units are just fighting non-stop. This building has been the center of the hottest conflict. Um, it looks like Bavaria is going to lose, but hey, France is sending even more cav in, and whoever wins this, I think, is going to win this flank. Over here... Real fast, Wundberg has engaged, Bavaria has engaged Denmark around this tree line. Bavaria definitely has the uh, upper hand right here. Uh, France, excuse me, <laughs> France and Spain still going at it in this line battle, but this flank is kind of where everybody's thrown all their forces in. I think France has it. I think Spain's about to lose all their cav. There is Spain's general. He better watch out. He better run. <laughs> Oh, look at this massive breakage. Oh, no. Spain's whole flank, they threw it in. Now they're going to have to watch their flank as now French Cav is going to throw it themselves on their flank. This could cause this whole line to break. And oh, this is a beautiful cover by Spain. Sorry, France. I need to not get them mixed up. So France threw a bunch of men into her and uh, hit in the flank of this Spanish line. They're going to isolate them and just destroy them. Look at this carnage and death. This has just been crazy. Crazy fight for this uh, four-point house. So now Denmark is uh, pushing forward some men to hit the oh. flank of Bavaria. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. uh, Wuttenberg, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Bavaria's... Actually, this is a good play, pushing forward with, to engage Wittenberg so they can also push out and hit the flank of Bavaria. Bavaria actually is not doing that great. I mean, they're taking on a little bit of Spain, a little bit of uh, Denmark, and then look at this. The Sachsen. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're pushing up on this flank, so Wittenberg better watch out. Oh, Bavaria is going for a charge on the flank of Denmark. That's a beautiful beautiful charge. Hopefully turn the whole line of Denmark as it's going to probably cause these guys to rout. Charge the back of these Denmark units. No? Alright, that was a beautiful charge. Uh, too late. <laughs> Denmark sending men a little too late. Okay, over here now. So those guys did come back. They still are trying to watch out as this cab. This French cab is still just pushing on the flank and now, uh-oh. They're going for the... These infantry... Okay, they're not in the backs of these. But they're going for these... Spanish infantry that may cause them to break. More cav charging. Oh, no. Now they're going for the backs and charge the front. It's going to cause these guys to break, and then they can hit the back of these Spanish units. These Spanish units don't have enough cav to combat this anymore, and these cav is going to run all over them. This center line. Oh, no. So these lights made a bayonet charge. They ran out of ammunition. I don't know, but that failed, and now... Uh, this French army is, uh, there's no whole lot of real calf. We have some reinforcements charging in. Another calf charge going in. They can't form square fast enough. It's going to break them. They're falling back. However, there's still some calf on the French side. Wutenberg is, uh, now having to fight two armies. Bavaria still fighting Denmark. Looks like, uh, a <laughs> lot. Just a lot of flanking. Wundberg better watch out, though. They're going to get massively flanked. Guys, this is still anyone's battle. It's been almost dead even, this whole fight. And now... And now this French cab is going to wreak havoc and make them pay for not taking care of them. This is going to turn Spain's whole flank, unfortunately. They can't combat it. They have no cab left. And it's going to start breaking the flank of Spain. And Spain's going to be toast, unfortunately. And Bavaria pushing out here as they are breaking through a massive gap in Spain's lines. Look at this. They are just running all over Spain. It's, it's a very unfortunate series of events that caused them to be where they're at. 
This flank, they can still win. They definitely can still win. Bavaria's pushing back, actually. Um, Denmark, as long as they keep an eye on Bavaria's cav, they can use their superior force. They don't have any cav over here. Wootenberg has a lot of cav. This could be a massive game changer. Okay, yeah, they do have some cav, but not close. Um, Wootenberg's gonna get surrounded. Denmark's pushing up to protect their flank, but they keep continually pushing on Wootenberg. Bavaria pushing on Spain. Spain's kind of, you know, reforming their lines. Spain's trying to get it together as, now, it, look at this. France is out for blood. They're like, yeah, no, we know you're you're almost done. We're going for you. They're just going, they're pushing full on. They're pushing a couple guys here to secure this flank. But guys, this flank is done. I think there's only two units of Spain left. There's cav everywhere for France. Just going to run all over them. Spain's trying to protect their flank, but these guys are separated. Spain's general's still alive. That's good. But uh, unfortunately, this battle, I think, is basically over. Yeah, it's basically over. You can see here, only a couple red markers. Um, the real fight now is over here, where Denmark is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bavaria, or not Bavaria, Wuttenberg. And uh, Wuttenberg is getting pushed on the flank by these this German state. However, okay, good. They are pushing some infantry to kind of protect the flank. They do assume it. These are grenadiers. They can probably form square. So Wuttenberg, what are they going to do? Are they going to go for it? Oh, oh no, they expose themselves too much. Wuttenberg's going for the flank there. Forming square though, so... Well played. Well played. Wuttenberg knows the lost cause. They immediately are retreating. Um, Bavaria fell back. I think they're deciding that if they can just destroy Spain right here, then they can basically hit them with a whole line, and Denmark will have to turn and face them, and then... Wittenberg can turn and face uh, these German state faction. I'm just going to call them that because I don't know what the name is. So a little line battle here. Spain is still trying to take whatever losses they can out of them. Looks like they're suffering a little bit more. They're just being totally outright destroyed, unfortunately. And they're isolating these units. If these Bavarian Cav can make sure they don't rejoin or hit the flank, France has a lot of troops that are pushing forward. I, I, it's not looking too good for uh, the coalition, is what I'd call it. This flank is where they need to win, and win big time. Okay, so Denmark pushing back, and ever, ever present Wittenberg is like, hey, you're going to fall back, I'm going to make you pay for it, and hits them in the back as they're falling back. They may lose his cap, but they routed infantry, and that's really important at this point. As now, um, this circle of death, this iron grip, is just tightening around this last French army that is just... <sighs> Sorry, guys, I don't know why I'm mixing them up. This Spanish army, which actually, look at this, Denmark is like, we'll help you out. We can help you out. And they're forming up to kind of help defend their flank. They need to hold this side. Denmark's sending some cav over here. They're just cleaning up this. these two French... <clears throat> these French are cleaning up this two Spanish units. You know, the best game to play for whenever I do a Napoleon Total War 3 replay is just count how many times I mix up factions. It can make it into a drinking game, because I guarantee you I'm drinking a lot. Because I mix up factions a lot. Alright, so they're just slowly weakening this Spanish faction, and uh, charging the flank, slowly softening him up. Spain is hurting, they're bleeding, they're gasping for air, and they don't have any air left. Wuttenberg is falling back wisely as they are definitely being outnumbered. I think what they're doing is they're just abiding their time, which means that <clears throat> the coalition is going to have to push forward or try to defend this flank, because these guys are definitely losing. And they can, they can smell it. They can smell the blood. Smell them bleeding. They still have some cav, so France cannot just run all over these units. They Denmark still has cav over here, and they are not going to let France do anything without fighting them for it. So, France is definitely very weakened. They've been fighting this whole time. They're putting pressure on Spain, who's also been fighting this whole time, but... Okay, so Denmark is shifting some troops back. 
they're probably like, hey, let's form out this tree line and let's send some forces over here. We can try to take out this French army and then swing around the flank because they can still win this, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. They could definitely still win this. Okay, so they are calling their retreat. They're falling back. Wittenberg is kind of sitting here like, okay, right, come get me. Come and get me, bro. And uh, this faction is like, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> we will wait. Here we go, guys. So not much is changing, but I'm going to get some cool shots of this battle. Because what is this battle about if not cool epic shots, cinematic views? You know? I hear artillery over here. Where's this artillery? Okay, here it is. Uh oh. Well, Bavaria found their artillery too. <laughs> and they are hitting it. Denmark it has nothing to send against them. And, uh, oh, they're gonna lose their artillery. <clears throat> unfortunately. Denmark is licking their wounds. France is really hurt. But they are still pushing forward because they have to keep pushing. They have nothing better to do but to push. Uh, they, they definitely outnumber them. And Spain still has two units over here. What? I like this. Spain has not given up this whole time. They have not given up. They're like, yeah, no, we're fighting you to the bitter end. Which is pulling a lot of units of France. I would just pull these units back and have this cab deal with them as they're trying to march. You know? Um, oh, Denmark did a cav charge, which I st stupidly missed again. So they have a cav charge. They are fighting them. Denmark is... I like this. Denmark is just totally not giving up. No one's giving up. This battle can change so fast. Um, France lost some infantry. Oh, this totally just strengthened Denmark's right flank. Beautifully done. The generals come back to be like, hey man, stop. Don't run, cowards. Fools. And uh, hopefully he will cause them to come back because they're not shattered. They're just broken. Um, Denmark may loot. No. So they're going to pull back their cav. Over here, Bavaria is pushing up. They are pushing up, maybe firing at this building. These units are kind of trying to hold. Which they have an advantage. Oh. Oh. They are getting fired at. You can weaken the building up to uh, 50%, I believe. So they better watch out because that will definitely hurt them. But they killed their general. Oh, no. Now they must break. Who's general? Oh, the general of Denmark got focused down by artillery. That is an unfortunate an unfortunate thing to happen. Um, Denmark, though, has the advantage now, I would say. They have... Look at that. They have a lot more troops here. And they are forming up. They have calves still to defend their flank. Although Bavaria is sneaking some calves around, so they better watch out. But they have a, a larger uh, infantry force over here. So... That's a game changer, possibly. <laughs> These guys need to get involved. I mean, it looks like they are, and they are defending, so they're getting the first whoa. Just went into the ground. This isn't this isn't World War One. We can tunnel underneath the enemy and blow them up. <laughs> but they are uh, making up making Wuttenberg pay for advancing. All hope is lost, sir. This battle is almost done. And Wuttenberg is uh, now engaging. Wuttenberg definitely needed to get into the fight. They are sending some cav around. Which is good, because um, this German faction definitely does not have cav close enough. They can charge the flank, push them around. Oh my gosh. What artillery hits are these? Oh, look at this. Artillery sitting right here, just punching holes in them. But look at this. Another, another. Oh no. 76%. Okay, I guess... The rules are different. Um, so reading the official rules, of course, you don't have to play by those rules. But now uh, these infantry are trying to shoot. <laughs> oh, 
look at this. The French have a cannon pushing up. They're just going to punch holes. And more cav coming in. I keep missing it. It's causing Denmark a massive chain route. This is bad for Denmark. Denmark had an advantage, and now all the troops are wavering. Their general's not there, and it's going to cause a lot of breakage, guys. A lot of breakage. So much breakage. This is bad. Oh, massive chain route. Denmark has nothing left, and the Cav are going to go for the rest of them. Unfortunate. So unfortunate. Now Spain. Francis is going to push up following that up, and they're going to make sure these guys don't come back. This is over for Denmark. It was well played. They had some amazing cav charges and the like such, but it is over. And now France can just push up, taking out the remainder of the Spanish army, the other Spanish army. And Denmark is just kind of trying to staunch the bleeding, but there's just so many... So many bullet holes. Oh, the sound just kind of stopped. Which it does happen sometimes. Okay, hold on, guys. There's something you can do that usually fixes that. Let me just do this. Sometimes if you just switch it back and forth, that kind of fixes it. Or not. Our men are running, sir. Okay, you know, we're not going to worry about it. There we go, it's back. All right, so, oh, massive capture by Wootenberg, but they were countercharged, and I think they're going to lose. They're going to lose their cab. They're running around the flank, unfortunately, for Wootenberg. Didn't it pay off for them in the long run? And now Wootenberg has no cab. Their infantry are just out here. And in fact, there's this, I mean, Bavaria has some cab they can send over and help, but this is kind of isolated. Um, the main force is over here. France is kind of encircling these Denmark units who are making a desperate last stand trying trying to uh, hold their own this is not looking good for them though guys this is just not looking good for them the dead are piling up Bavaria is right here I'm surprised they haven't charged in to take this building I mean, this artillery is probably just punching massive holes in them. Yeah, they are. They're just routing them one unit at a time. Look at this. This cab just keeps pushing on the flank. France just keeps pushing on the flank. They just keep pushing and pushing, and Denmark can't stop it. Denmark can't stop it. Um, Wittenberg is in trouble over here. They definitely need, they need some help over here can't see them, but they're getting pushed on really hard. They're still holding their own. They're not route, they're not having units breaking and all that. But uh Bavaria and France have kind of just encircled this army. You can see the flashes, they're making sure these units don't run or come back, I should say. And this last desperate stand is now happening in here. Another general dies, another ally general dies. units are just like, oh! Yeah, it's it's probably going to be a defeat for Denmark and Spain as they're going to get pushed out of this building. Their men have lost their general, and they're going to rout. And uh, look at this, guys. This cab is just like out. They're like, you know, we know this is one. We just want to finish this. They're going to charge into... Uh, the back of this last faction as they are going to uh, be stuck in a line battle with Wuttenberg and they're just going to get hit in the back most likely yeah their cab is starting to break they took the building well done it's over they've taken it this is a victory for Bavaria and France, and they're just pushing towards this last faction. At this point, it's just a, you know, good game. <laughs> good game. And are they doing a bayonet charge? 
Oh no, they did a bayonet charge. It didn't work out very well, unfortunately. We have killed that general. And now, who's general? Uh, so there goes the general, guys. And now the cab is just going to be like, watch, let's just hit them in the back, let's finish this. And at this point, you're just like, it, dude, just, just finish me. <laughs> just, just get it over with. You can't see anything, look how thick the smoke is. Um, well played on both sides for this battle, as it's wrapping up. Well played, I mean, this battle raised across the whole map. It was awesome, I mean, look at the carnage. The best part was the turning point right here. Look at all the death and destruction and mayhem here. That was just crazy. Um, of course, last hard, sp oh, wow, building's just gone now. <laughs> Uh, well played on each side. Uh, like I said, thanks to War Spite, I believe he was Wootenberg, for uh, setting this in to me. Thank you. If you have a replay you'd like to send in, I would uh, put on my channel. Feel free to uh, either email me or my Discord. You can always send it to me in Discord. Uh, links in the description. And um, I would gladly put it. I love watching these battles, guys, because you don't know what's going to happen. You know? It's so exciting. You just... You don't know what's going to happen. So there's just a last desperate stand. I'm just going to fast forward because it's over. <laughs> they're going to fight and they're going to run. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much left. Yada, yada, yada. Last desperate stand. They are the last one, I believe. This is the last unit. But it was a very exciting battle. I mean, like I was saying... The cav charges taking out their artillery. Artillery is so crucial, as you could see, the artillery punching holes in the lines of infantry. That's just a massive, massive help when you're having a line battle against someone else. Uh, like I said, Wittenberg or Spike, he was the one who sent it in. Um, yeah. Well played. I'm going to be posting another one, guys. Um, real fast, I'm kind of curious. How artillery did in this battle, you know? Oh, you can't. You can only look at one of the units, huh? Did he have artillery? I thought he had artillery. I don't see it. Oh, well. Well, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for this replay. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're not subscribed, I'm trying to get to 50. And at 50, I am going to do something. I'm going to put up a poll, see what you guys want. If you want a live stream, if you want a subscriber battles. Um, if you want a specific game played, or even maybe a uh, release of a, something, like a prize or something like that from all the subs, you know. Um, either way, that'll be coming up shortly. You guys will stay safe. Um, have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in another video.